Well, the U.S. put a man on the moon. Could Mars be next? The Kennedy Space Center's Mars Rover concept vehicle is letting people experience what a manned mission to moon Mars might be like. Nikki Batiste takes us inside. Hey, guys. Carter and Marshall DeMars got their first taste of the future of space travel, meeting former astronaut Mike Massimino and getting up close to a prototype of NASA's newest Mars rover. The size of the rover is just humongous. I thought it would be one of those puny rovers, but it's just so big. This nearly three-ton monster mobile looks like it's made for Hollywood, but it's meant for Mars. NASA engineers did, in fact, team up with movie props designers to create this 11-foot high, 24-foot long vehicle. Since it won't ever really travel to the red planet, the mission here is Earthbound. I think the, the major purpose of it is probably to create excitement, get ideas going, get people excited about going. This rover has four seats in the front and it drives like an SUV. This detachable lab is where astronauts could do experiments. Massimino says the challenge in sending people to Mars is the cost. The Kennedy Space Center funded this rover, but it doesn't have the expensive life support needed to make a month long trip possible. And that's going to take a, a budget, a, you know, a, a commitment from a, a government that uh, is very significant. Marshall DeMars says he's game to be the first first man on Mars. I've always been the guy who wants to discover things, so I would go for sure. And he's just the right age. NASA hopes to send a man or woman to Mars around the year 2030. Nikki Batiste for CBS News, New York.